He fronted the Sleepy Jackson. With a fresh sound and lyrics to match, it was clear to see the talents of Mr. Steele were like no other Australian musician. Nick Littlemore was also on the scene with Penal. Fronting the Aussie electro scene and collaborating with musicians around the country, Mr. Littlemore was also at the forefront of his genre. So what do we get when rock and electro come together? We see the birth of Empire of the Sun. Walking on a dream. Nick met in 2000 after both being signed to the same record label. We met in 2000. Um, at the Dalo Bar. Yeah, Luke at that time was carrying around the suitcase. Yeah. Every time I see him, he'd have something different in the suitcase. Sometimes it'd be an umbrella, sometimes it'd be a kazoo. You never know what you find in the suitcase. We did a song for the Now record and um, it just worked so naturally and it was like, oh, why am I working with the best songwriter and melody maker in the world? You know, like it's just a phone call away. <laughs> he came to terms with himself and realized the truth. Yeah, so wow. um, we just kind of started doing stuff. After becoming friends, the boys hooked up in Nick's recording studio north of Sydney. Hummed out a classic straight off. What was that? The chemistry was electric. What was it called? It was called, um... There was a few. There was one that was wind splits logs, which is amazing. Um, and there was, there was this kind of a dreamscape one that was... It's, it was, I had the Rickenback, I remember, yeah. 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 You know, there was something that we could connect with each other, and I think then, at that point, our careers kind of took different turns, and we both had to travel around the world and did lots of different things. And after Luke's second album came out, and he'd gone on tour around the world, there was a time, um, it was just lucky, you know, it was like a hole in a storm, and I, I gave him a call, and said, you know, we should do some stuff. In 2007, Empire of the Sun released their first single, Walking on a Dream. The duo peaked at number 10 on the Aussie singles charts and number 64 in the UK. Who takes the reins in the studio or who took the reins in the studio for this record? We both do because we're yeah. both producers. And... Yeah. Was there creative differences? No, the, the word, you know, for the project is surrender. Okay, surrender. Okay, so that's what we do here in the studio and anytime mm. we can do it now, we can do it then. We just surrender to the art, and that's the most important thing. So we leave all the hats behind, and we just we just come naked with ambition, and we try and make something that hasn't been done before. Australia had never seen the likes of such a creative and innovative duo. In their videos, we see Luke dressed as the Emperor, and Nick as an ancient Sufi, both travelling the earth searching for the unknown. The video for Walking on a Dream was shot in Shanghai, China. I love your video for Walking on a Dream, Shanghai. Was that illicit? Were you being illicit at the time? Because I heard you couldn't get permission to film in Shanghai. You kind illicit's of had to, a heavy word. Yeah, I kind of had to do it on the, on the, uh, on the, hoo -hoo, you know. Yeah, no, it worked out good because you just, cool. if you run the cops, you just pay them. And... Yeah, we were looking for dumplings the whole time. <laughs> Why did you choose such an exotic location? What was the thinking behind that? We like the ancient cultures, I think, and through the course of, of making the record, we wrote into a, a lot of, sort of different places and things like that. Romantic and beautiful and poetic. It's and so beautiful. I don't yeah. think anyone really, until you go there, you have any idea how beautiful it is. There's the city in kind of the lowlands, but just maybe half an hour's drive, there's mountains that go way above the cloud line. And we were driving back one night after we were shooting and this train came by and it was like we were transported to the 40s. Empire of the Sun are being recognized not only in Australia, but on the internet national music scene with US rapper Jay-Z using the vocals of Luke Steele on his new album Blueprint. It's been a big 12 months for Luke. At the end of 2008 he became a father for the first time having a daughter Sunny Tiger. So how has fatherhood changed him? I wrote a song the other day. I see it in your eyes and I smell it in your pants. <laughs> So my songwriting's got a lot better. Because it's not like more literal. All and, baby references. <laughs> and, you know, when Sunny Tiger's gone to sleep, she, um, the story develops kind of like the film each night. Like, she'll go to meet Bob the Bear and then Jerry the Giraffe will come in and it's like Terry the Tiger and then, you know, Sam the Snake and Peter the Python and they all kind of meet up. So my imagination has grown and... and my cooking skills and the lyrics are a lot more literal and 
cute. In my gig bag now, rather than I used to have um, smokes, but now I have like baby wipes and <laughs> 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 